नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेनेरिक नेम एंड ब्रांड नेम नॉन प्रोपराइटरी नेम एंड प्रोपराइटरी नेम सो व्हाट आर द नोमेन प्लेचर यूजुअली गिवेन टू ए ड्रग दैट वी विल डिस्कस टुडे ड्रग नोमेन प्लेचर बिफोर दैट जस्ट रिकॉल व्हाट इज ए ड्रग ए ड्रग इज ए केमिकल सब्सटेंस यूज्ड फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट क्योर प्रिवेंशन और डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ए डिजीज इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स और एनिमल्स सो एनी सब्सटेंस और प्रोडक्ट दैट इज यूज्ड और इंटेंडेड टू बी यूज्ड टू मॉडिफाई or explore the physiological system or pathological state for the benefit of the recipient can be called as a drug so this is who definition given for a drug so a drug can be named in three ways one is the chemical name second is the non proprietary or generic name and third is the proprietary or trade name or brand name so the chemical name usually uh, the ipac i iupac system is usually used iupac stands for international union of pure and applied chemistry just just see uh, two examples this is this is benzoic acid and in the uh, this is one position and in the two this is acetyl group and this is uh, aceto oxy benzoic acid aceto oxy benzoic acid or we can say acetyl salicylic acid this is the chemical name and most commonly this molecule is known as aspirin and aspirin is the generic name and there are different brands of aspirin for example disprin which is a brand name so this is the difference between the chemical name acetyl salicylic acid is the chemical name aspirin is the generic name disprin is the brand name similarly this is the structure of paracetamol which is chemically para hydroxy aceta aceta nilide para hydroxy this is para position this is acetyl group nh so para hydroxy acetyl nilide or four acetamido acetyl this is amine group so acetamido phenol four acetamido phenol so 1 2 3 4 four acetamido phenol and this is commonly known as paracetamol or acetaminophen this is the generic name and the brand name the name in which it is marketed is crocin calpol etc so these are the brand names of this same molecule so chemical name is four acetaminophenol paracetamol is the generic name crocin is the brand name. now the non proprietary or generic name so this is the name which is universally uh, accepted used uniformly all over the world so the manufacturer initially gives a code name to a molecule and once there is proved therapeutic efficacy of that molecule then a generic name or non proprietary name is given and it is assigned by two councils usan council and ban council usan full form is united states adopted name usan council and ban is british approved name ban council so the, the, sometimes uh, both are same and uh, there may be slight difference in the nomenclature given by usan and ban 
So, finally, the official name is given and that name is included in the official pharmacopoeia. Then, the company which uh, markets it, uh, they, the pharmaceutical company which markets the, this non proprietary or generic medicine gives a brand name or trade name or proprietary name to that molecule. So, just see what are the variations in the generic names given by USAN and BAN. Adrenaline, the name which is the same molecule as that of epinephrine. So, as per USAN, it is epinephrine, as per BAN, it is adrenaline. Similarly, noradrenaline as per BAN and norepinephrine as per USAN. Furosemide, furosemide, both are same molecules, diuretic molecules and furosemide is given by USAN and furosemide is given by BAN. Let us take another example, chromoline sodium and sodium chromoglycate, both are same molecule, they used in asthma. Chromoline sodium is given by USAN, sodium chromoglycate is given by BAN. Let us take few examples and how these generic names are given for a group of drugs from the same family or from the same group. Let us see local anesthetics usually end with cane, C A I N E cane, for example, lignocaine, prilocaine. So, usually there is at the end there is cane. Similarly, the anti ulcer drugs, proton pump inhibitors, end with prazole, pantoprazole, pantoprazole, omeprazole, lansoprazole, rabeprazole. So, ends with prazole. Then, the calcium channel blockers, the dihydropyridines used as antihypertensives the vasodilator drugs, the calcium channel blockers ending with dipin, for example, nifedipin, amlodipin. Similarly, the antihypertensive drugs, SE inhibitor, enalapril, lisinopril, ramipril, so all end with pril. They are SCE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Then let us take another example, statins, HMG, coenzyme A reductase inhibitors, these are the lipid lowering drug, drugs which inhibit the synthesis of cholesterol and the examples are atorvastatin, rosuvastatin, so they end with statin. So, generic names for a class of drugs can be in this way in which all the drugs end with uh, similar uh, uh, um, sounding uh, word like cane, prazole, dipin, pril, statin, like that. Then we will discuss about the uh, proprietary name or trade name or brand name. So, this is the registered name or the copyright name of the drug. Uh, in, in which it is sold, given by the pharmaceutical company to market it. So, so, so one non proprietary drug is there, of, of, in official pharmacopoeia that name is there. Then the company, the pharmaceutical company which wants to market it, then it will give a name which is easy to recall and which is usually small than the non proprietary name, so that it will be easier for the medical practitioners to use that. So, one uh, drug can have several brand names or proprietary names uh, as per the company. Suppose, a, suppose same drug manufactured by um, and marketed by 10 pharma companies. So, the, the one drug can have 10 brand names and nowadays uh, many uh, companies produce 
the same non proprietary drug and accordingly they have different names so every company markets the same drug with a different name so let us take few examples uh, uh, for example paracetamol as we have already discussed uh, let us summarize that paracetamidophenol is the chemical name paracetamol is the generic name and the brand name crocin given by the company gsk dolo given by microlabs calpol given by bureau welcome similarly acetyl salicylic acid uh, is the chemical name generic name is aspirin and it is available in uh, different brands ecosprin is the brand name uh, given by usb disprin is the brand name given by riket and benkaiser similarly uh, metronidazole the generic name and the chemical name is 2-methyl 5-nitro imidazole ethanol and this uh, molecule is available in different brands for example metrogil by jb chemicals and pharmaceuticals limited flagil f l f l a g y l flagil by abbott metron by alkem and there are several examples so this is the difference between chemical name non proprietary name and generic uh, proprietary or brand name thank you